M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We've got the SCU58 kit here, which gives us the SCU56 cable. And we're gonna set up YSX PDN mode or PC mode. We've registered here. All you do is go to member registration here. I'll put the link in the description. They send you an email. You fill out your radio ID. To get that, hold down the function button. Go to number 62 and it's shown at the bottom. And then they're gonna ask you for your call sign and your address. Send that all off and they'll send you back some node numbers. And you'll be able to log into your YSX account, which I'm going to do now. And there'll be a link there for the software and the drivers. So I'm logged in, you go to node owners page just here. And then your software is just here. Just click that and download that software. And within all that, you'll have the, the drivers that you need for your SCU cable. Don't plug your SCU cable in until you've added all the drivers. You'll have a little square like that, double click it. And over to the PC, you've got your SCU cable, SCU 56, plug that into your PC once you're ready and then go to the back. Now we're gonna, we are gonna play with the audio kit that comes with it, but not right now. Uh, but anyway, the I think it's a 10 pin cable goes into the back of the radio underneath the power supply, I'm sorry, underneath the power lead. And then goes to your PC. And the whole point, we've got a dummy load in there because the whole point of this is that you do not need an antenna. You get this window, it will have the device, you know, the device prolific there, USB, and it says COM4, and then we'll click OK. And hopefully we'll get a new window appear now with the software, and it's gonna ask for our numbers, and we need the node number and the room number. We also need to put our radio into YSX mode, PDN mode, so hold down, turn it off, hold the DX button, and then turn on. If you've done it correct, it will say YSX PDN as we have got it now. If you held down both buttons, you're in HRI 200 mode. So you can use a HRI 200 box and I think you'll be able to then also use the, the analog leads, but I've not set that up, so I need to read the instructions. Like This is just direct mode, PDM mode, and, and access mode as well. So access mode will allow you to use another handheld. This will become a, like a hotspot and then you'll be able to use another C4FM handheld. The point of the HRI 200 box is that you can actually use any analog radio. You don't, you're not tied to a C4FM radio. So if you've done things right, the box where you need to enter the box once you're in PDM mode will actually go white. And you can enter those numbers and click ID entry. That's it, we've got the numbers in there and then you just click OK and it will all come to life. Close that for now. And it will start to, everything will start to populate. You have the sort of users here and then the rooms here. You can right click and add these rooms. Right click and add to bookmark. And they appear up here as shortcuts. Or we can connect to one. So we're going to find one that's popular. Okay, we've got CQUK here. We're going to right click, click connect. It says call in standby, so I'm guessing I've pushed the wrong X button. Let's try again. So let's try a different mode because that doesn't seem to work. Even though I've looked in the instructions, it does say Y is X is just holding down the DX and turning on. So we'll come out and then we'll hold them both. So we'll turn it off first. Then we'll hold them both. Okay, we should say HRI now. Ah, why is X node? Oh, I see, when I was plugged into my HRI 200, it said HRI 200, of course it did. So let's try that. Uh, we'll try a call now, we'll just right click it, right click, connect. Call started, there you are. So we're now in, you get like this dashboard here of everyone connected. And if I key my mic, oh, it says TX prohibit. Let's just see what else we've got to set up. I'll just show you that. TX prohibit. 
Now you have Y as X mode and then you have direct mode, access mode. So I see it now. When there's the frequency showing is when I can use my handheld. Let me go and grab my FT5. And then and when you push the up and down arrow button, that's when you can use it direct. Well, I'll show you that first now. So I'm just going to go up and then just key the mic. M0 FXB test. And you, and you can see it's gone green there. And then we can talk on C, that was CQ UK. Just going to grab my handheld as well. So we're in direct mode, and then when you can see the the frequency you're using it, you can use your external any fusion handheld. Okay, grab my handheld, one four five five hundred. You can set the frequency if you go to the PC. You just go file transceiver, and here you can change the frequency and just apply and OK. We'll leave it there for now. So we're only doing a quick test. Remember, we've got a dummy load on. When you do change the frequency, it does reboot the radio. So let's go back to that. There's our handheld. And I'll quickly key it and say M0FXB test. So the audio is coming out of, let's get this right. We're talking into the handheld. The radio is acting almost like a hotspot, sending everything out of the into the internet via the USB cable. So if I just show you now, I'll switch over, I'll show you the handheld. As I key, M0 FXP, Mic0, Fox X3, Bravo, audio check. And we're in DN mode. Now the, remember the HRI 200, we could use a Bofung FM, but with, with this, now we, we, we have got the kit here that we can use uh, for adding analog and being able to talk to an analog station. And you're going to need something, I think, if you're using a laptop like this, you're going to need a microphone adapter where you, it splits the USB into microphone and speaker because most modern computer laptops don't have both anymore. And then you've, you've got them there, you plug them in there. If you get it wrong, just flip them. But right now, let's go back to direct mode by pressing the arrow. That's direct mode. And we're going to see if we can just have a normal contact. I'll try and get both on screen. Um, make sure M0 FXB, Mike 0, Fox X Ray Bravo. Calling for an audio check, Mike 0, Fox X Ray Bravo. You can see it went green there. Connected to 27793. You've got this card here. Always turn it up. Always helped. Just turned it up there. I think someone came back to me. You've got this card here. That's actually a QSL card. Let's try this again. I'll go again, that station. Go again, M0 FXB. Yeah, I just didn't know. Your report is absolutely fine and fully Q5 from G0PZ. G zero PZM. Oh, thanks for that. I'm testing out the new FTM five hundred, but I'm using uh, my SCU fifty six cable. So via the the PC, the Wisex PDN mode, and you're the first contact I've had. So thanks very much. M zero FXB Andreas Western Supermare, and you do have to leave a two or three. Well, I would say three or four second gap uh, to let everything. You know, otherwise they'll miss part oh, of your that's audio. Interesting, Andreas. I wonder how you're finding the FTM five hundred out there. I've looked at them and uh, I thought about the price and uh, should it a little bit, but um, <laughs> you never know. But you're certainly the first person I've worked with one. Uh, at this end, I'm just using a little network radio. Uh, I have a, an FT5D, uh, <laughs> a nifty little radio. Right, uh, Dog needs a walk. Just sits there all day uh, doing nothing <laughs> or something if anybody comes on. I was just having a listen on 40 metres, actually. It's, there's not a lot going on there at the moment. So, how are you finding the uh, the new radio, Andrea Silva? Which is a good question.
M0FXB returning. Well, yeah, very good question. And thanks so much for coming back to me. Yeah, I mean, it's like any new a, a new radio. You always, you know, you, you like it more in the first week, don't you? And use it more. I, I like it. Yes, the, the price is high. But, you know, I think Icom, Kenwood, and Kenwood are coming out with some new products soon. Icom, Kenwood, Yesu, the pro- this is the normal price now, you know. For a mobile set, you're looking at a really 700 quid nowadays. The FTM 400 was a very good set, and that was really hard to beat. I wouldn't say they've beaten it with this, but they have come up with a very nice design. But it's different because the head unit on the 400 is flat and very portable. This is quite a chunky head unit. It definitely gives you the impression of a flagship C4 FM radio. It's and it's a nice. The screen's a nice size, and everything works well. Bluetooth. APRS. I've checked. I've been testing everything, and the speaker. It's got the speaker in the head unit. It's got the six-pin connector in the head unit as well for your microphone. So everything's there at hand, and you can use an RJ45 to move the head unit around, or buy an expensive one from Yesu. So I think I like it. Um, it's a shame that the 400 was so good, and even the 300 was actually a very good radio um, that we've now, you know, had our arms twisted to buy this one. Back to you. So that's it, all working fine. Thanks very much for watching my channel. I'm going to do another couple of videos on this system as well. Hopefully uh, he'll come back to me there, and he did get that last over. Yeah. Not sure if he put it back to me there, Andreas. You, you cut off a little bit early. But, um, uh, I liked it, Joel. My fault very good. for not... Excellent um, audio, I have to say. Uh, yeah, it just holding the mic better. And um, I do like your stuff. I have a... Um, a 991 Alpha, and I've got an FTDX10 also, and uh, they seem to be the leaders these days. 7-3, uh, thanks for watching my channel.